3D Geo Gel Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zero Polish. Hi everyone, so I am doing something you've never seen on my channel before. I am doing a builder gel and a hard gel design, and I'll get more in just a little bit as to why you've never seen one of these on my channel before. But for now, just be glad that I am going to start doing them. And so for this design, it is going to be these little 3D geodes that are so cute and I'm so happy with the way they turn out. And actually by just what I have on hand. They happen to glow in the dark too. So if you like glow in the dark stuff, this is kind of cool for that respect as well. It doesn't make any difference that they're glow in the dark. It's just that the kind of glitter I wanted to use happened to glow. So it was a happy accident. The other thing I want to say is that this design is inspired by a birthday cake that I made for my nephew for his 15th birthday. And that was actually back in the beginning of November when I made that cake. But as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to do a geo design for nails as well. And then I thought that it would work so well to do it with gel. And then I had a good gel. So the gel that I'm using today is from Bang Good, and I got a set of 36 colors because I thought if I'm going to start doing gel stuff, I might as well get a big enough kit that I have enough gel colors to actually do art with it. And then I also just got some clear, and you'll see a little bit more on those in a second. So I hope you like this, and I hope you enjoy the gel designs that I will hopefully be doing in the future. And don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. So here is the clear gel that I got. So and when it came, it had a nice little foil sealed for your protection thing in it, which I was able to peel off. I just grabbed tweezers. Whenever I try to peel anything like this off without some sort of tool, it never ends well. So I always make sure when I'm opening something, I have a tweezers or like a little pliers or something on hand. I'm pretty, I'm pretty resourceful. So the gel has a little platform in it. So it's not actually as much gel as it looks like in the container. It does have a weight on it, which I'm not sure what it is at the moment, but it does say how much is in there. And so it's UV gel. So the clear gel does not cure in an LED light. Just wanted to make sure that that was known. So then for the 36 colors, I was very surprised when I got them to see that they had no label on them. There was no anything. So I went through and I put a little swatch of each color on the, each lid. And then I also gave them my own names. And I kind of chose things that I knew what color it would be. Like I know I named one of them Bruise and I named one of them Pine. And any, any color that I thought represented the color in the little pot, I that's what I named it. So then I also want to say that these ones had more of like a foam sealed for your protection cover in them that was a lot harder to remove because it kind of broke apart on me. Some of them came off really easy and then some of them I had to really pick out like that one. But I just took a little while and it was kind of fun to get to know them so to speak to open them all up because I had no idea what they were going to be. It was a complete surprise every time I opened one. So that was actually kind of fun for me. Just a little time consuming but fun. So then with poster putty, I split it into three pieces, rolled them into ovals, not real perfect ovals, kind of rough. And then I pressed that onto the top of a dotting tool. And so this is going to be the little base that I'm sculpting out my geodes on. So you want to make them smaller than the size you want your geodes to be in the end because you're building them around it. So then I just grabbed one of them and I wrapped it up with some plastic wrap and I just gave it a couple twists around the the dotting tool just to make sure it was nice and tight and then with the color I named aqua of the build of the color gel I'm going to paint a coat around just not all the way down over the edge but just like around half of the oval and the only thing that I would have to say about the 36 colors besides the fact that there was only there was no label on them one of them was I did get a duplicate so you don't know for sure what 36 colors you're going to get. It's kind of you get what you get and you see when it comes. So I did have two of this aqua color. So I put two coats of aqua around the base for the start of my geode. Then the next layer I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little ring of white around the outside edge. It doesn't have to go over the bottom or the top, whatever you want to call it. That's not necessary. Just around that part cured again. And then the last coat is going to be to cover the whole thing with black. And the reason I did two coats of the aqua originally is because I want to make sure that none of the black shows through it. So I wanted to make sure that it was really nice and opaque. And so for those color gels, I would say they are, I'm very pleased with how opaque they are, their coverage, their consistency, everything I'm relatively happy with. So then on the black, I'm going to burnish in some gold chrome powder. So I'm just using that little spongy applicator just to rub that in just like that. And then I applied a layer of gel sealer over the top of it and cured that. So as you're curing these, because it is gel and you want to make sure that it's curing evenly, spin them in your light. So you want to make sure you don't just set them in there and then leave them you have to continually to ro or continue to rotate them in the light so then take out your dotting tool and then peel out that poster putty and then take out the plastic wrap it might take a little tugging and a little work but it does come out and it should come out in a whole piece and then carefully file the top of your 
of your little geode because it kind of gets these little points set of the gel that sort of reach down and so I'm just going to file those off and make sure that the edge is nice and smooth and if there's any that really are still sticking up I just took my little manicure scissors and trimmed those off too just to make sure that it has a smooth rim then dust out the center and then I put a layer of gel sealer inside the center of that geode and then these are the little glow in the dark little it's like glitter sand kind of so I'm just going to put some in there I'm not completely covering up the inside I want to remain kind of rough and then I filled it up with some glitter and I first tried to set the glitter down with my brush and I quickly decided that was not the road to go so then I just scooped it in and I'm pretty much filling in the geode as full as I can get it it doesn't have to be like over the edge or anything but you want to make sure that there's a, a reasonable amount of glitter covering every surface and then you cure that and then you can tap it off and any of the extra glitter that's in there just you can get uh, put back in the jar just pretty easy tapping it off and then cover the inside with another layer of gel sealer and put that back in your lamp to cure. So I'm going to repeat the process to make a purple one. So then as I was saying about those color gels, all of the pigmentation in them seem pretty good. It all, they all seem really nice and pigmented and actually I was surprised by how dispersed the color was. Usually gel you have to really mix, especially when you just get it new. You really have to give it a really nice mix to make sure that it's all nice and evenly distributed whereas I did have to mix a couple of, I mean you want to mix them regardless but I did have to mix a couple of them to make sure I got the color right the white was one of them that separated pretty bad but other than that and these do cure in a UV or in an LED light which was nice and the other thing is with the since I don't know if you with the chrome powder I didn't put any no wipe top coat or anything underneath them there they have this hint of a tacky layer it's not so much that Normally, I would say it needed to be wiped, but it is still there, just a little bit. So I went, kind of went back and forth whether or not putting the chrome powder on would have a good result, but then I decided if it wasn't completely smooth, that's okay because it's a rock. But for other things, maybe you would want to either cleanse it with some isopropyl or, you know, just... Yeah, it's hard to explain the tacky layers. It's, like, it's just a hint. It's just, just barely there. So then I also made a third one, and this one is with a pale pink. I'd have to say the purple is my least favorite. After I made it, I kind of decided that it was too dark and that going with a brighter purple probably would have been a better route. Um, but I don't know. What's done is done. And I do like it. It's still I still think it's really pretty. But I just thought maybe a darker color would be better, or a lighter color would be better than the darker one. And so if you want to see the colors that I did get and get those photos, because there were photos in the beginning of the whole set of 36 all laid out really nice, I am going to be posting those on Facebook and on Instagram. So if you want to see the colors I got and see, then look at the names if you're curious by all the weird things I named. Most of them are pretty normal. Um, but I will post those photos on Facebook and Instagram so you can check those out. And there's also going to be links to all of these products in the description box below, or all of the gel, I should say. And so then with the pink... Same thing with the glow-in-the-dark stuff. So now that all of those are done, I'm going to start gluing them on. So I just put a little bit of nail glue on in the place that I want them, and then I'm going to set them on and hold them for just a second. It doesn't take too long for the nail glue to set. And so I'm just going to put them on there, set them down. And if you're really lucky, you don't get any nail glue on your fingers either. That's the key. So then I'm going to take some of that clear builder gel, and I'm going to start adding that around my geodes. And so this first layer that I'm doing, I do want to get it nice and close up and around each geode and get it sort of between them as much as I can. But this is just sort of a, a first base layer of the gel. So if it's not perfect around them, I'm not really worried about it. I just want to make sure that I'm starting to build that up. And if you've never used gel before, I am trained in using gel. I have gone to school for it, but I haven't really used it since then. So as much as I know the basics, it's not, it's kind of like learning a foreign language. If you learn a foreign language in school, yeah, you know the basics, but it's not like you're fluent. That's how I feel like I am with the gel. So that's kind of how I'm at. So now for the second layer, after that first layer is cured, this is now the second layer that I'm putting on. I was a little more cautious about going up and around the geodes, and then I had to take a smaller brush, and I went closer around each one to make sure that there was no gaps in anything. And I am being very careful also, very, that's a little weird. I am also being careful, that sounds better, to keep this gel as smooth as I can possibly get it, since I know that filing is not really going to be easy because I cannot file those geodes or let any file hit the geodes, I pretty much know that I can't file. I can file sidewalls, but that's pretty much it. So as long as I know that in advance, that does make it easier because you can 
spend a little time making sure everything else is nice and smooth. The other thing is, because of the way that the geodes are, if it's not perfectly smooth, it's not like you can tell. So that's also another good thing if you're not used to using gel. It's not as particular because there's so much of the nail surface being covered up by geodes that the actual smoothness of the background isn't maybe as important. So after that's cured, I'm going to remove the tacky layer and then I'm going to start just, I filed a little bit, like I said, sidewalls and the tip just a little bit. And I tried to file just a little bit on the sides to smooth that out just a pinch, but there really wasn't too much that I could do there, just a little tiny bit. And then after the dust is removed, I'm going to take and I'm going to, that's I'm removing the dust with a little fluffy brush. And with some of that black gel that's in the color kit, I'm going to be painting all kinds of little cracks in or over that clear background. So as I mentioned, the reason that I haven't ever done gel designs before, and it has been requested so many times if I can do some gel stuff here and there, and I have no problem with it. In fact, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I just didn't own any. That was, that was my, that was my issue. And so I decided that if I'm going to start doing gel designs, that I should get a large enough kit to actually accommodate that. And so, like I said, I got the 36 colors and I'm really looking forward to it because I do have enough colors to be free with my ability to do designs. And actually there's a couple colors, like there's a really pretty dark green in there that when I looked at, it, I'm like, yes, I now have dark green because I needed that for other things. So I cured that black gel halfway and then I'm going to take some gold foil and I'm going to press it on. And I actually over cured it a little bit with the foil. You need it to have a nice stickiness so that it'll come off the little clear plastic backing and it didn't have quite enough stickiness. So I really had to press on it to make sure that it released from, like I said, that plastic backing. It did release. It just took a little bit of elbow grease. And I think that was 30 seconds in an LED light is how much that was. And so I'd maybe go 20 seconds and give it a test to see if that was the right amount. And it will depend on your LED light, of course, um, how much it takes. So just see what that is and see how the foil releases and then you will know. So now I'm going to be applying a layer of gel sealer over the background. And then I'm going to cure that a final time. And I also turned this nail into a ring. I was so happy with it and it was kind of a, I don't know, a milestone moment the fact that it was done with gel, I was pretty excited. So I turned this into a ring that I can wear if I want to with some gold wire. And so there was some photos of that in the beginning of the video, um, in the intro. So if you want to see that, you can go back there if you didn't, if you missed it. And so, yeah, that's it. I hope you like this. Thank you so much for watching. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram, and also check out Facebook and Instagram to see those photos I mentioned of the colors, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!